Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be looking at and ranking all of Wormon's evolutions throughout various aspects of the franchise. And this is because in the Digimon Content Creators Discord server, Humulos alerted us to a comment that he received in one of his videos, basically requesting, nay demanding, more Wormon content. And we more or less agreed with him, so a bunch of us have decided to celebrate International Wormon Day, which is July 15th. Now, that used to be apparently National Gummy Worm Day, so we're taking it over and making it International Worm on Day, because this YouTube commenter is absolutely correct, there needs to be more Wormon related content in the world. So let's look at a bunch of Wormon's evolutions. Before I start, I'm not including any evolutions from the card game, as in the most recent card game, because at this point, any Digimon can evolve into any other Digimon. So Wormon can essentially evolve into um, the majority of Digimon that are adult levels. So I'm not going to include a lot of the evolutions there because else we'll be here all day looking at evolutions and it'll be the majority of the Digimon that exist. So we won't be looking at that. So it's just mainly going to be a handful of adult and armor forms that we've seen him evolve into in the past, mainly in the original card game where we found out about all the other armor forms, as well as his evolutions in uh, the anime itself, and also, I guess, a few from the Vital Bracelet. So, but basically, let, let's, let's go. And by Vital Bracelet, I mean I really love Roachmon as being the Trashmon or the, the bad care Digimon evolution from Wormmon. So I've included that. And I've also included his perfect levels as well. But looking at my list, I now realise that I have apparently not included Paladin Mode. So I'm going to go put Paladin Mode in S tier because I'm just looking like I say that. But I haven't included... Actually, I haven't included any Impel Dramon, only Pale Dramon. So, whoopsies. Uh, so, oh no, Impel Dramon Fighter Mode I put there, but apparently I just didn't put Dragon Mode. Uh, wherever I put Dragon uh, Fighter Mode, we'll put Dragon Mode above it, and then Impel Dramon's in uh, Paladin Mode is in S tier. There we are, solved. So anyway, let's start now that I've uh, gotten the ones that I've forgotten out of the way. So, uh, first, what do we have here? We have uh, Bancho Stingmon, that is by far S tier. Uh, one of my favourite Digimon. I love all the Bancho forms. I think Bancho Lilymon's probably my favourite, but in general, big fan of all the Banchos S tier. Uh, Blitzmon, or Beetlemon, uh, this is a weird one that I found out about mainly just from a card game, but I actually kind of adore this is an evolution for Wormmon, so I'm going to put that in A tier. Kind of wish that we saw that more. Uh, we've got... Uh, I think this is Bullmon. He's an armor form. He's kind of a little bit basic looking. It's it's the armor form with the Digimental slash Digi-Egg of Hope. Uh, but he's very much just like... He just, he's just a bull. Like, he's, it's not... They didn't really do much else besides just put the uh, Hope logo on it. So I'm going to put that in C tier. It's perfectly passable. Next we have... Uh, I forgot its name, Hoodiemon, there we are, it's from uh, Hacker's Memory. Um, I actually, like, I'm probably going to upset a lot of people, and I'm going to put this in F tier. I don't like this design, it really, really grosses me out. It is just not a good design, I don't, I don't like it. It grosses me out probably more than it should for what it's intending, um, so I'm going to put that in, in F tier. Sorry, literally everyone. I love Hacker's Memory. I love I love that game so much. I'm putting it in F tier because yeah, it it just I I don't I don't like I don't like it. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, literally everyone. Uh, next we have Impel Dramon Fighter Mode. I'm gonna put that in B tier. So because I've left Dragon Mode off this list and also Paladin Mode, I'm gonna put Dragon Mode. I guess. Uh, Invisible in A, and I'm gonna put Paladin Mode in S. There we are, problem solved. Next we have Jewel Beatmon. Uh, really, really excited that Jewel Beatmon's going to be in Survive from what we've seen, some gameplay and screenshots and stuff. So, yep, this is gonna go in A tier. Yeah, let's put an A tier. Uh, Kongamon, another armor form. This is with the Digimental of Miracles. 
also appeared as a perfect form on the vital bracelet for the Primeval Warrior's Dim. Uh, gonna put this in uh, e, d, d tier. I'm gonna put this in D tier. Uh, next, Noemon, which is the... I can't actually remember. It, I think it might be... No, it's, it's not kindness. It's... I think it's light. Uh, yeah, I, no, it's not light because it's co Coatlemon's light. Um, what... I think it might be purity. Maybe. So I'm gonna put this in... I look, I, I love the, the name is Nohemon, and that's the, the symbols he has as his face, but I don't... I'm just gonna put him in A. I, no, that's mean. I'm gonna put him in C. I... I uh, or maybe... Maybe Kongamon can go in E tier, he can go in... There we are. He's in D tier. Uh, Pale Dramon, uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for Zero Two, so he goes in B tier. I, I, as I said, I have a lot of intelligence for, di for Zero Two and all the Digimon in Zero Two, so I'm gonna try and not put them all in uh, in B tier just because I love Zero Two. Uh, Stingmon, he can hang out in A tier. I love this Carmen Rider, really cool design he's got going on. Uh, I also just realised that I haven't actually put Wormon in this at all, but I guess I'm ranking his evolutions and not him himself. Uh, so I guess Wormon we can put in B tier, also invisible in B tier. So yes, Demon's in A tier. Love his little Carmen Rider design. Super cool. Uh, I, I just, I just really enjoy him. Uh, probably one, and now the next is probably one of my favorite Digimon that honestly we don't see enough. So it's Togemumon. Uh, he's a little like little hedgehog echidna thing. He's Mermon with the Digimental friendship. He's gonna go in S tier. I love him so much, and I will d absolutely die on this hill. He is such a nice looking Digimon. He's a friend. He is going in S tier. I want more with this Digimon. I want... Is he... Has he been on a Vital Bracelet Dim yet? If not, he should be on literally every Vital Bracelet Dim that ever comes out for the, re the rest of eternity. He should be in every video game. I love him so much. He is by far one of my favourite Digimon. Uh, the Digimon of Friendship actually has a lot of really great Digimon in general. Uh, my other favourite is Rinkmon. I now can't choose if I prefer Rinkmon or this one. I think Rinkmon because Hawkmon, but yeah, great Digimon, uh, very much underappreciated. Every so often I forget that he exists and then I'm reminded and it makes my day so much better. He is probably one of my favourite Digimon. I would say even top 10. Top 10 Digimon, definitely. I love him so much. He is my best friend. I would, I, I would die for this Digimon. So anything in S tier means that I would basically die for this Digimon. So Banjo Stingmon, yep, and Togemon, love. So... Love, 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 love this little prickly friend. Uh, Akelimon, um, uh, D tier, I think? No, he, he deserves better than his B. He is Wormon with the Digimontal of Reliability, uh, so re Relia B tierly. That was a stretch, but I made it happen. Uh, Coatlemon, I, uh, A tier. He's not as good. <laughs> as our little prickly boy over here at the top, but he definitely deserves to be quite high up. He's with the Digimental of Light, and I liked him very much. Dino Beamon, uh, I, I love this. I love Dino Beamon. It was a very good day when I realized that Dino Beamon existed. It was, I always thought that it was kind of cool that we had Paladramon, which is a cross between the two, but Paladramon is very XVmon heavy, and I do love that they made Dino Beamon Stingmon heavy. It's it's really, it, it's great. Now we have uh, Flywizmon, who is one of the two evolutions that uh, we get from Wormmon with the Digimantle of Courage, because I guess he gets two because he's cool. Flaywismon is pretty cool. I love him. Not well, cool, but is on fire, so I guess he's hot. He gets to be in... I'm putting too many up the top. I need to, like, be crueler. Uh, but I'm putting him in B tier, because I would put him in A tier, but there's too many in A. Uh, so he's going to be in B tier. Uh, Roachmon, I love this as a Trashmon. Uh, for Wormmon, I think it's a good fit. However, I don't like him that much. So he's going to be in E tier. Then we have the baby forms, Leafmon and Minomon. Uh, they're both very cute, uh, especially Leafmon. I'm going to put Leafmon in C tier, Minomon in D tier. He's not as cute. Then we have Almon. Again, like Bullmon, he is kind of just 
uh, existing animal plus mon on the end. He is just an owl with the crest symbol, which is the crest of love, on his head. It's very, very basic. And it's probably more basic than Bullmon because at least Bullmon's wearing armor, has a little cape going on, has little like hooves and little custom design. Almon is just an owl. He has goggles. Those are cool. Because he has the goggles, he doesn't rank lower, but D tier because is is just he's just mo he's just existing animal plus mon. Not super imaginative. I know also you could say the same about Leafmon, but Leafmon's got that face. Almon just got goggles, which are cool, but not a prickly boy level of cool. Next we have the two Poochimons. We have the original Poochimon, which is red. Gonna put this one in C tier. Gonna put the green one in D tier just for being just like... Some color variants are really nice. This one just feels lazy. It's just what if Teletubbies, but just two of them. Uh, Poe was the red one, and I think Dipsy was the green one? I don't know. I haven't watched the show since I was, you know, Teletub age. Uh, next we have Searchmon, uh, C tier. Uh, just, it's cool. I didn't really like it particularly until, funnily enough, it appeared in Adventure Colon and actually was one of my more preferred episodes. I wouldn't go ahead and say favourite because that still feels like a stretch, but it's something I did like from Adventure. Well, the reboot, rather. So it's going to go in C tier. It's fine, I guess. And then lastly, we have Shadramon, who I'm absolutely overjoyed that Shad Shadramon just today got announced to be in the the next set for the card game. But also Shadramon was in the Vardal Bracelet for the Primeval Warriors dim. So I'm glad that somebody's remembering that Shadramon exists. So thank you, Bandai, for that. Uh, Shadramon's probably my favourite. I think 2022 should be the year of Shadramon. Uh, just, it's such a cool design. It is... I'm, I'm, starters, I'm going to put it in S tier, obviously. Look at that. Uh, secondary, uh, I, I love the fact that it's just bug, but it's not just bug. It's kind of like got the same sort of face that Stingmon has, but it's got just entirely made up of the Digimental of Courage. It's very much uh, aligned with how Flame Dramon is just like a Vemon a little bit taller, but with the Digimental of Courage like on it. And I love that about some of the armor forms is that they look like they're just part of the Digimental itself. A lot of the, the evolutions don't actually look like that, but the ones that do are some of my favorites. The Prickly Boy and Rinkmon excluded from that. So yeah, these these this is my ranking. A uh, lot surprisingly, it's, it's I thought it'd be more like top heavy, more like in the higher ups, but because I put so many in D, it kind of evened out. I'm sorry that I don't like Hadimon. Uh, I just I just don't like it. I, I I don't know why. I don't like its design. The wings are cool, but it just it kind of makes me uncomfortable. It kind of grosses me out, and I don't really like it as an evolution for Wormmon. It just feels too. It, it doesn't feel like it fits it as much. Like I know a lot of these don't look exactly like Wormmon, but at least they feel like they fit a little bit better. Uh, Shadramon is much better. It's like uh, Shadramon is like the opposite of Hoodymon, Okay, but overall, these are the ways that I uh, the cookie crumbles in terms of the ranking for all of Wormmon's evolutions, except for the ones that I forgot apparently, which I kind of mentioned putting them in places during the video, so I didn't really forget them, did I? But in any case, that was my participation for our new International Worm One Day, which is July 15th. Blessed be the worm. And uh, yeah, so, and that's how I feel about all these evolutions. I feel like the S tiers are all very, very valid. But of course, if you disagree with me, let me know your ranking in the comments below. Like this video if you think that Prickly Boy and Shadramon also should, should should get some more love from Bandai because they're great. Also, Banjo Steamon, also great Digimon. I'm glad that I had him before Rear Eyes closed. That's that's a positive, I guess. So, of course, also subscribe if you haven't already. Check out any of the other Wormmon Day participants, uh, which I hope there'll be more than just... I know Digimon Professor's doing one. I hope that the others also 
do some. I know we've got a few people who said that they might participate, so that'd be cool. So check them out too. Uh, let me know all your thoughts about Wormmont in the comments. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. And of course, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.